dear students today we will discuss about requirement analysis phase that is a phase of software development life cycle so before going into details i want to link it with the previous discussion which we were discussing about software life cycle which had development usage and maintenance so we have discussed this part already and in this module we will be focusing and digging in into this part of development so the development part is mainly having these four phases so we have requirement analysis phase design phase implementation phase and testing phase and all of these phases are used to guarantee that we build a proper and usable software and this is covered under software development life cycle which is sometimes known as sdlc in the literature so from now we will focus on requirement analysis phase so what is the requirement analysis phase basically the goal is to identify the customers users and try to find out the requirements from all of those users using different techniques so what services the proposed system will do to identify any conditions for example if there is a time constraint there is a security issue or there are some other issues as highlighted by the users on those services and to define how the outside world will interact with the system so we take inputs from the stakeholders and our stakeholders are normally the user but not necessarily all time our stakeholders are the users whom we know so for example if that is a consuming uh, service or product so the real users are giving you that project and you are developing for those users so then in that case those users are your stakeholders however sometime the whole company or government agency want to make some software so in this case that company or government agency need to hire a software developer to make a feasibility study of their company and their project and then that software developer or software engineer will interact with the uh, software engineering team to describe all of the required things and sometime you are making commercial off the shelves so for example you are not making something for a specific user instead you are making a service or uh, you are developing for mass market that is going to be sold in retail stores or it can be downloaded via internet like you make some application some mobile application some similar things so such kind of things you do not have direct users so in such a way in such a situation from where you initiate your requirement analysis phase you go into the market and study that market and then try to identify the, your potential users and interview them and discuss with them to identify the requirements and then requirement analysis process is that we compile the needs of the user we also negotiate with the user the stakeholders on trades off so uh, you know in computer science we use this word trade off which means that if you have two things so either you can increase this thing so this thing will uh, will not be uh, kind of increased for example if you have uh, a budget of for example 100k and you want to build a project within that budget so the quality of that kind of quality which can be made by a budget of 500k cannot be achieved so this is a trade off that you can enhance the quality of one attribute and the quality of other attribute might affect so similarly you need to identify and you need to tell the users about the trades off that what they want and what is the need so maybe the user is very demanding and user is saying that we need this thing that thing that thing and all of these things are not actually needed by the users and they are actually 
giving them more cost. So you can discuss such things and you can also discuss the cost and feasibility and similar other things. And then all of such requirements are grouped together and documented in a document that is called software requirement specification which is SRS document. And this document is a written agreement between all parties. So if we summarize today's module, we have discussed about SDLC and requirement analysis and goals and processes, what are your stakeholders and what are commercial off-the-shelf softwares and software requirement specification document.